then on the left, Three Stripe Life. What do you want behind those? They're followed through by Iron Maximus plugging through into fifth position as they come to two from the finish. Journey with me to Sir Gerhard's alongside in the red as they come to the home turn. Three Stripe Life is behind those. These are clear of mud splattered rivals as now Sir Gerhard and Paul Tarnan come to take on Journey with me and Rachel Blackmore as they level up to the last flight of hurdles. And Sir Gerhard has gone through to take it up. Pursued by Journey with me. Three Stripe Life is staying on the final flight of hurdles. Sir Gerhard. Good leaps all the way round. At the final flight, Journey With Me as a faller, leaving in second place. Three Stripe Life is only three lengths behind. Sir Gerhard having to work hard in the closing stages. It's been tiring ground today. Sir Gerhard and Paul Tynan have won the Ballymore. Three Stripe Life in second place. What do you want in third position? Hoy Senor in third, uh, fourth position made a mistake. Gaia de Maynil is running on behind these leaders now as they run on towards the home turn. Long Presse on the left, Farouk Dalem. Davy Russell is moving through to try and mount his challenge. Three under through five is with those. Ahoy Senor is next, Capo Dano and Gaia de Menil are staying on. They've two fences to jump. It's a three length lead. Long Presse and Charlie Deutsch on the right at the second last in the Brown Advisory. Got over it well. Farouk Dalen has gone at the, fight, the second last fence. Ahoy Senor is left in second. Gaia de Menil in third. Final offence, Long Presley with a two or three length advantage, Ahoy Senor is in second position in hot pursuit of him, Gaia de Maynil behind those, they're into the closing stages of the Brown Advisory, it's been punishing soft ground, but what a horse this Long Presley is, he's made most of the running to win in good style Brian Cooper, Gal Road is the next, the others are covered in mud your guess is as good as mine which one's which second last they come to now Ashdale Bob is still out in a clear lead second position from Campron behind those in third place commander of fleet Gampathy is next and then fast or slow still there he's moved into fourth position Christopher Wood is next they turn into the home straight in the Coral Cup there are only four with a conceivable chance you've seldom seen a race at Cheltenham like it as they head down to the closing stages Ashdale Bob, but now Commander of Fleet is coming through after him. Fast or slow is between those. The three take the final flight almost together. And in the centre, fast or slow in the red cap nearest to us is Commander of Fleet and Shane Fitzgerald. It is this pair together, slogging it out as they race to the line. Fast or slow and Commander of Fleet, Commander of Fleet, fast or slow. Nurga men have jumped through to the lead. Freeman Bill Sivilla is with those. Put the kettle on. She has weakened and she is at another previous win a politologue at the rear of the field. This is the home turn coming up. In red, it is Envoy Allen. In blue, in Nergumen, biding his time alongside. Freeman Bill Civil has a length and a half behind those as they move into the home state. They have two plain fences to jump. Envoy Allen is trying to fight off in Nergumen. Freeman Bill Civil are still behind them. In Nergumen is the leader at the second last and now goes on by two, three, four lengths as they come to the final fence. In Nergumen, up and over safely and he's on the run in now. Fumin Bull Civil are in second place. Envoy Allen is next. Uh, Politologue is behind this. The closing stages. Energumen is clear and wins the Betway Queen Mother Champion Chase with Paul Townend. Energumen is a ready winner. Fumin Bull Civil are in second place. Envoy Allen will be in third. Plan of attack has every chance in third as they re-emerge onto the race course proper with two to jump in the Glen Farkless chase. Tiger Roll being stalked by Delta Work. Tiger Roll lands two lengths clear. Delta Work is following him through. Then Plan of Attack and Diesel Dallier. And it's Tiger Roll. Is this his date with destiny? He swings for home. Delta Work on the right still has every chance. And Tiger Roll might have to fight for his prize. He heads on down towards the last. Two lengths ahead of Delta Work, who's bearing down on him. The jigging step to pair have it between themselves. Here's the last Tiger Roll narrowly. Delta Work is throwing down a very stern chance. Challenge on the far side. Tiger Roll is digging in bravely. He knows where the winning post is, but Delta Work is going to spoil his party. And Delta Work comes home strongest. Tiger Roll is carried out on his shield. Peter out, and they're heading back towards home with two left to jump. 
in the Johnny Henderson Grand Annual, editor to Eaton Global Citizen. They've been the leading pair pretty much from the outset. They'll turn on in four lengths clear of Andy Dufresne and Il Rodoto, and these are being followed into their straight by Frero Bombu, embittered in a maroon jacket. It was Global Citizen, narrowly in front of the second last, heading on down to the final fence. Global Citizen from editor to Duchit. They've dominated this, and Global Citizen lands three lengths ahead of editor to Duchit. Andy Dufresne and Frero Bombu, third and fourth, are staying on. They've got 200 yards to cover. Global Citizen getting a little lonely in front. He's four lengths ahead. Andy Dufresne is staying on. He's eroding the deficit, but Global Citizen pluckily holds on to win the Grand Annual from Andy Dufresne. Uh, blue sleeves becoming increasingly brown, but he's going to be towards the inner as they swing for home. So the leading cluster, it's American Mike with Fasal Vega looming up to come alongside. Seabank Vista is next into the straight, followed by James's gate to an authorised speed. And Fasal Vega has stormed to the frontier, moves on from American Mike. James's gate in third is still staying on. They've got 200 yards to cover, and it's Fasal Vega and Patrick Mullins, and more significant. Secondly, Willie Mullins. It's going to be a 12th Weatherby's champion bumper, Fasile Vega, in a round.